What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty NDV10. Uh, coming back with a pretty special mail day. I've had these um, piled up on my desk for quite a long time and I was going to kind of break this into two or three different videos but piles are outrageous <laughs> of uh, stuff that I need to um, show off. So uh, I had to kind of just bite the bullet. I'm going to condense this into one big video for um, some of these really, really, really great combos of offbacks. So all T206, all what we call offbacks. So no Sweet Capital or Piedmont backs, which are the two most common. Uh, first up, we have Neil Ball, Cleveland. Really nice looking three there. Polar bear back. Um, you know, polar bears, not, um, not like they're super rare or anything. They're kind of like that um, you know, the next closest in terms of overall population to a sweet cap or um, a Piedmont, but that's a great card. Um, Neil Ball, kind of a tough off back. Uh, next up, we got a Cubby, Ed Rulbach. And um, this is a four. Don't know if it'd get a four today, but maybe it's very nicely centered. But this is a great example of the reason I kind of um, tend to stay away from polar bears. Uh, in general, uh, I have a few. I appreciate them. Um, but as you can see, it's got some of the tobacco staining on the card. Um, you know, very common with these because uh, in these pouches, the tobacco was slapped right, you know, right adjacent to the card. So there was nothing protecting the card from the tobacco. And so a lot of times you get these stains with the polar bear. So they kind of, um, you know, account for that in the grading. But just something I tend to stay away from uh, now. Uh, Jake Thielman, this is a very tough card in general. And nice polar bear. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I don't want this video to be 20 minutes. Some of you might enjoy it. Uh, we got Paul Davidson, polar bear. Bill Kerrigan, one of my favorite players in the set. He and I share a birthday. So, pretty cool. And then the last polar bear I have is another cub, Jake Feister, throwing. Really cool card. Love the sky image back there. All right, so now onto some really, really, really fun stuff. <clears throat> um, I will show off some old mills next. I actually subbed this card myself, and it recently came back a two. Paul Casey. I'm sorry, Doc Casey. He was an actual doctor. And that's the old mill back. This is a recent SGC grade, believe it or not. Um, I think they've been very lax. I was expecting a one and a half on this card. So anyways, it's for my collection. Don't, don't really care. Uh, next up, I've had this one forever. I bought this card. Um, gosh, literally probably a year ago. <laughs> it's been at my desk at, at least that long. Uh, Oscar Stanage. Really cool. Really nice old mill. Four. Just great color. No centering issue. Well, centering issues, but no creases, anything like that. Really great card. And then, uh, what up, Max Jackson? Got me a Larry Doyle with bat. Old mill. Love this image. Great card. Really nice old mill. Uh, next up, Sovereigns. One of my favorite, favorite offbacks. Um, three different series. 150, 350, 460. 150 is toughest. Um, then probably the 460s. And then 350 is kind of in the middle. But this is a very tough one. Doc White portrait one and a half obviously some centering issues and a crease but great image great color and this is a mega tough card sovereign 150 snapped that up on a steal of a bite now uh, next up we got lefty layfield one of the best images in the set in my opinion and this one obviously has some creasing but believe it or not in person it, it doesn't even show up as good as it does on the camera but just a fantastic pose. Love, love, love this image. It's like something's burning in the background. 
probably a coal mill over in Pittsburgh, or a steel mill, I should say. This is a Sovereign 350. Beautiful card, love that pose. And then last one, very tough card. There is a hoarder. Uh, I think he's a family member of this card, but last I heard, they had like several hundred, possibly a thousand um, Fred Tennies hoarded up, which is just cool. It's a tough card in general. Um, I picked this up, just snapped by as soon as I saw the price. Very tough off back, really nice Sovereign 350. Love it. Love that card. Great looking orange. Um, three more cards. Uh, let's see. Tolstoy. I do not have many Tolstoy. So when I saw this one, I could not help but pick it up. And it's a four. Definitely didn't have any four Tolstoys. Honey Burger. A lot of the Tolstoy have what we call a wet sheet transfer. You can see it there. It's the frame from the back. They um, probably cut these super quick and stacked them on top of each other. And uh, so there's a little bit of ink transfer on a lot of Tolstoy's. Probably like 70%. So Russian mouthpiece cigarette. Tolstoy. Again, I don't have many Tolstoy. Very underrated back uh, when you look at the pop reports and that sort of thing. Last two um, cards. Uh, love, love, love this pose. Nap Rucker. And this is the APDGs, El Principe de Gaias, the Prince of Wales. Great image of a really fantastic left-handed pitcher, Nap Rucker. Played on some really awful Brooklyn teams. Um, but yeah, it's a great card. APDGs are just Probably right there with Tolstoy's. Maybe slightly easier when you look at overall pops, but man, are they popular. Really, really, really cool cards. And then the last one I got also is an EPDG, and I bought this literally two years ago, and I've just never shown it off. It's been on my desk forever. Um, so I bought this before the craze, obviously. This may have been an early, early, early 2020 buy, maybe even late 2019. So <laughs> it may have been on my desk for three years, but this is Dummy Taylor. Um, Dummy Taylor was um, deaf, so he's very popular. Um, obviously, his name, Dummy, they kind of just gave that moniker to anybody who was um, deaf back then. Uh, it's kind of common. There's a Dummy Hoy in some tobacco sets as well. But anyways, Dummy Taylor, very popular, very, very, very popular card um, for a common. Just a great image as well. Love it, and this is a freaking five. You just do not see um, APDG fives. And um, I have a great friend who put together the entire possible set of APDG subjects, and um, he let me know that this card actually came from one large find they had back in like 2007 or eight. Um, so they found like a ton of EPDGs and this came from that. I think it was like the Tom's River find or New Jersey find EPDGs, something. Somebody smoked a shitload of EPDGs and they um, they found them, graded them. And uh, I've got one from that. So that's kind of cool. But Dummy Taylor in a five. This is a mega card. Uh, again, probably three years ago, I paid $250 for this. I would expect this card to go uh, easily over $1,000. One of those it would it would really get nutty it would, it would not shock me if this went for 1500 but that's it i'll never sell it unless i absolutely have to <laughs> that's all i got guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed maybe learned a few things peace out